Hey everyone, so this is a my summer loves video. I don't know, I just kind of, I'm up and uh, I filmed like four videos already. So I'm going to be up pretty late tonight editing all those. So I thought while I have my hair and makeup done, might as well do one more video. It never hurts um, for those of you who like my videos. So we go ahead and get started. These are just some things that I think are essential for summer. Um, not essential as in like you have to have them, but like some of the things that are essential for me for this summer. So some of them might be kind of trendy, um, just good things to have in the summer, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So first, while I'm sitting here, um, this is in no particular order because I have a bunch of stuff in a little box that I want to go through. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, first, I want to actually talk about sunglasses. So in the summertime, Girls love to wear sunglasses, I love to wear sunglasses, guys love to wear sunglasses, everyone loves to wear sunglasses. Um, they're fun, they're a little cute accessory, can add a little bit to your look, even if you're going out without any makeup on at all. Throw on a pair of shades and you're good to go. So, um, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite pairs. First of all, you don't have to buy a really expensive pair. Um, I have not had a really nice pair of sunglasses like ever um, until recently I decided that it was about time that I get a nice pair I feel like I'm responsible enough to keep track of them and not break them and all that kind of stuff so I ended up getting two my two first nice pairs of sunglasses and they're both by Dior which is one of my favorite brands and they're just they're very cute so I like these um, the first one I have and these are Okay, I'm going to tell you what the um, code is because people asked for this the last video. Uh, these are the Dior symbol number 1, D289C. So, that's what these ones are called. And, okay, so they're by Christian Dior. They're black and they kind of fade down. And they have really skinny little sides. And it says Dior real discreetly on the sides. So I got this other pair, which are brown pair. And these ones have like a little bit of like shell detailing almost. And it says Dior and this shell is so pretty. I think it's shell. And the code for these ones are Dior Classic 1086CC. So for those of you who do codes and stuff. And so those are those. And those were expensive but like I said I did not have a nice pair. But like I was ready for one. But you obviously don't have to. Um, Forever 21 has great sunglasses that are super cheap that um, you know kind of can give you the same look. These are one of my favorite pairs. They're kind of like a square rim and they kind of have like a tortoise -y, um pattern on the inside. You can't. And these ones are just some classic black ones. Again. Okay. So once you got your sunglasses, you're good to go whether you choose to get some cheap ones or invest in some nice ones. Either way. You're good. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, uh, jean, jean attire. Uh, in the summertime, I know it's too hot to wear jeans, but um, the jean is very in for summer. So like those jean button-down kind of men's style shirts you could wear over swimsuits. A good place to get those is The Gap. I had a video on that, um, and a lot of people are wearing those right now. So that's a cute idea. Another idea that I want to start getting into a trend are the jean dresses. And this one I got from ModCloth. And it's like a light acid wash jean, which I normally don't, I would never wear in a jean, but in a jean dress, it's really cute. And um, it has little pockets, and then it looks like this, and it's a little dress. So cute. You could wear it as a little tube dress, but it also has straps. So that's really cute. And um, if you put some gladiators, like some brown gladiators on, maybe some gold accessories, you'd be good to go. And that's really cute. Again, keeping with like the jean trend that's in right now. As far as as far as swimsuits, um, for summer I always think metallics are in. They're really in last year. I don't know if they're in this year, but doesn't matter. I'm gonna wear one. Uh, this is like on the borderline of being very tacky, but it is from Victoria's Secret, and I think it's kind of cute. Uh, this is what it looks like, and it's a silver and it's metallic. And when you have like a tan, or if you have a spray on tan or whatever, you don't. Have, I'm not saying you know go get burnt or whatever. But um, if you have a little bit of a glow in the summertime, metallics just pop against that and they can even make you look a little bit tanner. And so they also had this one in gold and I think like a bronzy color, but the silver is really cute. And I think if you wore this, you could, I have the matching bottoms, but I might actually wear this maybe with like a black bottom or something just to kind of give it a little bit of, I don't know what you even call it, just, you know, to add a little bit. So that's what that is. I don't know. I think it's cute. Uh, as far as like makeup, I like my Dior Air Flash foundation because I don't want to wear 
a powder and I don't really want to wear a liquid foundation and this is like a spray foundation and it's very light and thin it's absolutely awesome I'll do a video on this like showing how I put it on because it's really a cool deal and I love Dior as well and then I have the Dior bronze and this is the spray on bronzer so it's for your face um, same kind of deal you don't have to wear a powder or a gel bronzer or any of that and it's nice I'll do a video on this if you guys would like as well as for shoes, my favorite shoes right now are these ones from ASOS. They are these little, little tiny, um, not a wedge, but like they have a little tiny heel. They have a zipper, which I love, and then they have kind of like this leather that goes up like this. I don't know, but they're really cute. They're comfy. They're kind of like tribally. Love, love, love these. Of course, for summer, you need some gold accessories. Um, these are Forever 21 bangles. Love, love, love these. Um, no one has to know if they're real gold, fake gold whatever no one knows and they're so cute so cheap you can mix and match all of them uh, mix and match all the patterns mm, just wonderful throw this on with like some jean shorts and a white tank and you are stylized and ready to go thing is a mac paint pot um i have one in bare study but my favorite one for summer would probably be indian wood and it is this golden bronzy color this is it's so gorgeous and that's what it looks like I love cream eyeshadows because you don't have to bother, oops, you don't have to bother with powder and they're easy to slick on. A little mascara, maybe some eyeliner and you're out the door. So those are awesome. Definitely go pick one of those up at MAC if you haven't tried one. I know Revlon has some cream illuminate shadows which would be similar if you don't want to buy the one at MAC as well. And lastly, I have some Bath & Body Works goodies to share with you guys. So for summer... Um, you know, it's all about feeling light and fresh and you don't maybe want to wear a perfume or anything, don't want to feel too heavy in the summer. So a good thing would be some scented body lotions and these are my favorite ones from Bath & Body Works. Uh, these are the new improved formula, supposedly, so we'll see about that. Um, one of my favorite ones is Black Amethyst and this has shea butter, vitamin E, and shea butter and vitamin E. I don't know how to even describe this one. Let me see. Okay, I'll read you what it says. It says, a sexy blend of spice inspired by chic, sensual, and confident women. It def it smells very sweet, kind of sensual, I guess. Uh, I would wear this one, like, on a date night or something. Very nice. The next one is Twilight Woods. Oh, this one smells so good. Um, okay, it says, it is a hypnotic blend of enticing fruits and warm cypress inspired by a romantic walk and enchanted woods. It's definitely very romantic, very sweet, feminine. Love this. I love body lotions because they make you feel all nice and soft and just nice for summer to add a little bit of scent without wearing, like, a perfume and all that jazz. My next favorite one is Japanese Cherry Blossom. This is kind of like a classic one. to smell it before I read it. Um, and this one says, a seductive mis mysterious floral scent inspired by the exotic gardens of Japan. It's definitely sweet. It is a little bit mysterious because it's almost like really sweet and nice but then you get a little bit of kind of the spicier scent. So I love Japanese cherry blossom. I'm sure most of you have probably smelled it though. And my all-time favorite for summer is coconut lime verbena. Oh my goodness. Oh I love this smell. Um, My teacher last year had a soap that was scented like this and it smells so Okay, but this one says it's an original classic coconut live verbena, a tropical scent inspired by an island breeze, luscious fruit, and crisp citrus. I think I'm a little bit biased because my perfume was like citrus, so I love citrus. I don't really normally like coconut at all, but for me, I really smell the lime in here. Kind of like a sweet lime, so it's a little bit of the coconut, but not overpowering, so I love that as well. So those are my summer loves. Hope you guys check some of them out, and have a great summer, you guys.